Hi everyone, Haley here from The Foiled Plan. If you're new here, welcome. I post DIY craft videos every Friday and design videos the beginning of each week. I do a lot of Cricut crafting, foiling, dollar store DIYs, epoxy tumblers, product reviews, and pretty much anything relating to getting crafty and running a small creative business. So if you enjoy that sort of content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my tutorials. If you're already a foiled friend, welcome back. I am so glad you're joining me again today. In today's episode of our creative design series, we are finally introducing the Apple Pencil so that we can practice lettering in the Procreate app. If you're unfamiliar with Procreate, I highly suggest starting at episode one of this series, and I'll leave a link in the corner over here so that you can find it easier. I also have a playlist for this design series so that you can build on your knowledge of the program with each episode. I was originally going to post one video introducing the Apple Pencil and learning how to letter, but it was going to be rather lengthy and I figured there's probably a few people that don't necessarily need an introduction to the Apple Pencil. So by splitting the video into two, we can jump right over to the lettering episode if you like. I will be posting both videos the same time, so you don't have to wait a whole week for the second one. So if you're ready to up your design game, then let's meet our new best friend, the Apple Pencil. So first, I want to leave a disclaimer that this is not the newest iPad or Apple Pencil. I've had these both since 2016 and they still work perfectly so although I do love shiny new things and the newest iPad did just come out, I really have no real need to upgrade. Luckily there aren't that many differences as far as usage goes between what I'm using and the newest models. Uh, if you have the newest models and something I share does not work for you, please let me know in the comments below. They are quite costly, so if you have an older model or are thinking about purchasing a refurbished older model, then everything I'm gonna show you today will likely be the same. Okay, so when you purchase an Apple Pencil, it will come in a box like this. You just pull the tab to slide it out, and inside you will have the pencil, the lid, this tip, and then if you slide out, there will be instructions in different languages and then also a replacement tip as well as the charging adapter. In the four years that I've had this pencil, I've only had to change the tip out one time and that's because I am a total klutz and I dropped my pencil on the floor which broke the tip right off. It uh, took some MacGyvering, but uh, I did eventually get the broken piece out of the end. This is actually the broken tip. I don't know why I saved it, but I did. It's uh, just sitting in here. And then this is the charger adapter piece. The tip is actually extremely easy to replace. You just unscrew, so just hold with your thumb and it will unscrew and you can see it kind of looks funny without the tip on and then to replace you just screw the new tip right back on these tips can be purchased from lots of different tech stores but i'll see if i can find them online and i'll add them to my amazon shop under technology so you can find them easier if you need them now the Apple Pencil is wireless, so it will require charging, and you have a couple different options for charging this model of the pencil. You can remove the end, and then actually insert this pencil into the charging port of your iPad or your iPhone, it just depends on the port type that you have, and your device's battery will then charge the Apple Pencil battery. If you want a quicker full charge, what you're going to do is Take the adapter piece, and the part of the adapter that has the little teeny tiny circle on the end, that's the part that's going to be inserted onto the end of the Apple Pencil, and then you can plug it into the end, and the pencil will charge that way. Once your pencil is charged, you're ready to pair or connect it to your iPad. 
To pair your Apple Pencil to your iPad, first make sure that your Bluetooth setting is turned on. Open up your General Settings and click on Bluetooth. The toggle should be green to show that it's on, so if it's not green, go ahead and press that button to turn it on. Below the toggle, there will be a list of devices to choose from. Search until you find Apple Pencil and then tap on that option to connect it to your iPad. The first time you do this, you may not see the Apple Pencil listed in My Devices. So all you have to do is take your Apple Pencil and insert it into the bottom of your iPad. Just wait a moment and then you will have a pop-up that says Bluetooth Pairing Request. Apple Pencil would like to pair with your iPad. All you have to do is click Pair. Now we can see Apple Pencil is listed under My Devices and it says Connected. Now that it's paired, you can remove the Apple Pencil. If for some reason in the future you don't see that the Apple Pencil is listed as an option in the devices, it may not be charged enough to pair, so just keep that in mind. If you know that your Apple Pencil is fully charged but still isn't showing up on the list of devices, you can try turning off Bluetooth and turning it back on. You can try turning on airplane mode and then turning that back off, or you can try restarting your whole iPad. Now that the Apple Pencil is paired, let's see how it works in Procreate. So we've got a blank canvas here and I can use the pencil to click on things just like I would when using my finger. We'll select a calligraphy brush so that you can see the pressure sensitivity in action. I'm gonna choose the brush pen. When you're just starting out, I strongly recommend doodling as much as you can to get comfortable with the feel of the pencil. As I mentioned, it is pressure sensitive, which means it's similar to normal calligraphy pens, pencils, markers, and basically all writing instruments. So the softer you press, the thinner the stroke will be. The harder you press, the thicker the stroke will be. So as you can see, it's quite a difference. Let's see how the pressure sensitivity works for one of the pencil brushes. So we're gonna go to sketching and I'm just gonna put it on HB pencil. Let's select black. This might be tricky for you to see. I'm not sure how big it is. I'm gonna zoom in to my canvas. Okay, here we go. So right now, I'm pressing really lightly. Keep in mind, I'm zoomed in on the canvas and my brush is set to its, um, its largest size. Now I'm going to add pressure. You'll notice I haven't adjusted my brush opacity at all. The change in my stroke is all related to how much pressure I'm applying with my hand. So that is just a super quick look at the Apple Pencil and how it works. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will be posting the next episode at the same time as this one, so you don't have to wait another week to get lettering. I hope you're enjoying this creative design series. It's something that I really enjoy creating for you. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my new content. Thank you so much if you've already subscribed, like a couple of my amazing foiled friends, Candace Linville and Cynthia King. You ladies are awesome and I so appreciate your support. As always, helpful links and timestamps will be in the description box below. Leave any questions in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's all I'm gonna say, bye.